tonight I want to just start in Isaiah 61, 1 and 3. It says, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning. In Hebrews 1, 9, we also read, Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness. Now, if you have joy essential oil, go ahead and grab it. Uh, it's a great blend, very high in frequencies. It has rose essential oil in it, which is very high in frequencies, excellent for the brain, excellent for the emotions. Go ahead and drop a couple drops on the palm of your hand. Rub your palms together. Cup your palms over your mouth and take a deep inhale. Lifting up your chest, lifting it up to the sky, looking towards heaven. And then exhale, place your palms on your knees and slowly relax. And just bring a little bit of curvature to your spine while tucking your chin, curling the spine in and pulling them into the spine. And now take your palms again, tuck them over your mouth and nose and just inhale. Gazing up at the sky, or up at the sky, up towards heaven, relaxing your face. And then exhale, pulling that belly in towards the spine, really flexing those abdominal muscles. We're just going to start here very slowly. So take another inhale, reaching all the way up, lifting the chest up to the sky, gazing up towards heaven. Just bring your palms all the way up towards heaven for worship. And then drop them back down in front of you. Relaxing your abdominal muscles, really pulling the belly to the spine, dropping the head and chest, and then reaching all the way back up. And dropping them back down by your side. All right, we're just going to warm up here. And thinking about those verses, if you have a little bit of extra oil, take that oil, place it on your fingertips, and then rub your fingertips on your earlobes and then take a little bit more and just rub it right on your chest. I always like to just put it in my hair too, acts as a diffuser and gives you a little bit extra scent and it really, that oil really gets into the brain, helps to raise those frequencies we're going to start in all fours tonight, today, so I want you to place your fingers or your hands below your shoulders and make sure your knees are directly below your hips. We're just going to drop our belly, lift our head and chest, and look up at the sky, and then curl our spine in the opposite direction, lifting our chest up, or our back up to the sky, just flowing here. And remember to breathe. Don't forget to keep breathing. Exhale as you bring that spine up. Lift and lengthen. And drop the belly. Don't let the belly release all the way to the mat, though. Don't just go like what and let it fall down. You want to still keep it, you know, tight and, and pulled in. So then we're going to come back up. Lift the spine up to the sky. Pull the belly into the chest. To the spine and then flow in the opposite direction one more time. All right, coming back, we're going to move into a flat back position. If you need to, just go ahead and shake those hips out a little bit. So touch the left hip to the left elbow or just bring it towards the other one, creating a C with your spine. And then move the right hip towards the right elbow and flow back in the opposite direction and right to right. Nice work. Okay, so from here, go ahead and take up your right arm and left leg for a spinal balance. Take a couple deep breaths. Inhaling and then up and exhaling. 
exhale, elbow to knee below the waist. Inhale up and then exhale below and up and below. And then one more reaching up and dropping just the palm down. Keep that leg lifted and just raise and lower that left leg behind you with the toe pointed. Just touch it to the mat and bring it back up. Holding, releasing down. Now sitting back on your heels, reaching those arms out. We're sitting back into his child. We are his child. He fills us with our joy. He's an amazing God who's given us everything we need. Feel the stretch in your lower back here. Arms can be extended out, or if you need to, go ahead and stack your palms and rest your forehead on your fists. Same here, if this is more comfortable for you. All right, coming back up. We're moving on to the opposite side. So let's take up our left arm and our right leg, finding our balance, holding here a couple breaths. Reaching, reaching them out, and then bring the elbow to the knee below your belly. Bringing them back up and below the belly. Back up and below. And four. And one more and hold. And then just dropping the palm down, keeping the leg lifted, and then slowly raise and lower that right leg. And holding at the top. All right, dropping that knee down. We're going to move into a little bit of a twist here. So take up your left palm, reaching it all the way up to the heavens and dropping it all the way down. And we're just going to either stay here or if you wish to add on a little bit, you can reach the right palm up and over for that left hip. And replacing the right palm, coming back up, replacing the left palm, reaching the right palm this time all the way up towards heaven, and bringing it underneath that left shoulder, all the way down. We're just coming down on the right shoulder this time. Now we can either stay here or we can bring the left palm up and around for the right hip. Totally your call, whatever works for you. Replacing the left palm, replacing the right. All right, and from here, we're starfishing our fingers nice and wide and we're flipping our toes, pushing our hips up, coming into humble position. Now, humble position, you want your sit bones to the sky. Your chest is trying to reach your thighs and you're thinking of yourself as an upside down V instead of an upside down U. If you need to bend your knees to achieve this, please do so. Press your heels to the mat. Come on to your tippy toes. Press your heels to the mat. Come on to your tippy toes. Heels to the mat. Tippy toes. And press. One more time. Feet coming on to the tippy toes. Heels to the mat. All right, nice work. Okay. We're going to take our left foot, move to the left center of our mat, reaching our right foot all the way to the sky. And we're just going to swing that right leg through, dropping down on our left knee. We're stretching out our hip here. This is a great stretch for runners. It's also a great stretch for anybody, really. Double check, though, for me that your knee is stacked above your ankle. You don't want the knee to come over the ankle. That'll be bad. New is for your knee in the future. Let's sit back on our heel, lifting our toes to the sky, keeping the back as flat as we can. We are servants of the king in this position. His servant, doing his work, filled with joy. Coming forward, 
knee is stacked above the ankle, flipping our back toes into, we're dropping our heel down here, so we're coming into Victoria's one. So, in Victoria's one, so our knees stacked above the ankle, we have a heel to heel or heel to arch alignment, and our arms can be at our sides, they can be up in cactus arms, so parallel with the mat, or straight up in worshiper. Whatever works for you. We're just holding here for a couple of breaths. Now we're gonna move into Victoria's two. So in Victoria's two, we're just going to sneak our left foot back just a little, turn our hips so they're square to the side wall, reaching our palms up, so they're parallel with the mat. If you feel your shoulders creeping up, go ahead and flip your palms, drop your shoulders back and down, and then flip your palms back over. Now we're just gonna play a little bit of tug of war. So we're just gonna reach forward with that palm, right palm, and then reach back with our left palm. Our knee stays the same. Reach forward, reach back. Three, and back, four, and back, five, and back, and hold. Nice work. Okay, from here, if this leg is getting really tired, go ahead and just straighten it, take a little bit of a break, and then sink back down. So, we're gonna take our elbow, our right arm, bend the elbow, and just reach the left palm up towards heaven. Now we can either stay here if we wish, making sure we don't bend that shoulder over. We want to keep it open and wide towards the wall. So we're nice and flat. And then if we want to, we can add on by dropping the right palm by the right foot. And we can stay here. Or if you really advance, you can bind. I'm not going to demonstrate that tonight. <laughs> not quite warmed up enough. All right, coming back to our elbow on our knee, coming back up into Victoria's two, sweeping the left arm back, bringing it back up with the heel, palms come up, reaching up, worshiper. That knee is still bent, dropping the palms down on either side of that right foot, bringing the right foot back, meeting the left. Now we are in empowered here. We can either stay in empowered with our knees up or drop down onto the mat with our knees down. Whatever works for you. This is a great position for core strength, just holding a couple of breaths. Slowly lower, elbows brush the sides, coming up into loved. Hands are by our sides. We're just gonna do a back extension here. So we're lifting, barely putting any weight on our hands, lifting our chest up slightly with the back, using those back muscles, and then pushing back, flipping our toes, pushing our hips up back into humble. Doing great. Good job, you guys. Bicycling out your heels, pressing one foot to the mat, bending the opposite knee. Just really getting everything stretched out. All right, let's take our left leg up this time. Right leg comes to the right center of the mat, swinging it through, dropping down onto the right knee, leaning forward, stretching out that hip. Double checking though, knee is stacked above the ankle. Sitting back onto the heel, lifting the toes to the sky. Servant of the king, back is flat. Now if you're here, you are totally fine. You are in this position for you, nobody else. And the more you can move your body, the more you can stretch, carefully within the boundaries that you have, 
for your body, the better it will be in the long run. Coming forward, knee is stacked above the ankle, flipping those back toes. We're gonna drop the heel down right away, coming all the way up, palms come up to worshiper, or out to the side, or to the hips. Your choice, whatever works for you. Holding here. If you feel pretty strong and steady, go ahead and put your eyes to the heaven, to heaven. And think about that verse. Think about the joy of the Lord being your strength. Close your eyes if you want a challenge. Okay, opening up. We're dropping the right foot back just a little. Making sure we have a heel to heel or heel to arch alignment. Palms are up, parallel with the mat. Remember that trick. If you need to flip the palms, go ahead and do so. Holding here, gazing out over the left index finger. Double checking that we're not forward or back. We want to be nice and aligned, straight up. Now is when we'll move into that tug of war. So we're just going to go forward and back. Forward and back. Reaching forward and back. Keeping the knee bent and back. Forward and back. And forward this time, bending the elbow. Reaching the right palm up towards the sky. Holding here. Now you can stay here, you can add on, dropping the left palm by the left foot. Keeping that knee bent. Okay, coming back up into Victoria's two. We're taking our right palm, we're swinging it all the way down, coming back into Victorious One. Our hips are square with the front wall that was in front of us. As square as we can make it, if we need to bring that back foot in just slightly, that helps quite a bit. Bringing our palms down on either side of that left foot. Left foot goes back, leading the right. Now remember, we can drop down onto our knees or stay up for full empowered. Slowly lower, elbows brush the sides, coming up into loud, hands are by our sides. And sitting back, this time we'll go right back into his triangle. Take a couple of breaths here, catch up with your breath, should be all warmed up now. Ready to go as you're sitting there. Focusing again. Isaiah 61, verse 1 and 3 say, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning. Hebrews 1 9 says, Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore, God, even thy God hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness. It's okay to anoint yourself several times a day with the oil of gladness or your children. Coming forward. Placing our palms on the mat, fingers are starfish, flipping our toes, pushing our hips up. We're gonna move a little bit faster this time through that sequence. And we'll move one breath per movement. We're gonna get our heart pumping a little bit and just kind of get things working a little bit and then we'll calm down and come to some other strength training exercises. So we're taking our right foot to the right center of our mat. We're taking our, sorry, left foot to the left center of the mat. Right foot all the way up this time. And from here, we're going to inhale our exhale, bringing our right knee right below our belly, and then bring the leg back up, bringing the knee below the belly. Three back up and below the belly. We're gonna do five of these, and below the belly, bringing it back up, 
Again, now hold the knee below the belly, but it's not touching the mat. And swinging it through in between the palms, coming all the way up, dropping the heel down. If you need to move that foot in just a little, go ahead and do so. Hands to the hips, up to the side or up. Now opening up, arms are parallel. Spreading apart just a little, rocking back and forth, forward and back, forward and back. Three, four, and five. All right, now dropping the elbow, left arm goes up, and coming back up. Now we're gonna add on a little bit here, just to get our blood flowing a little bit more, bringing the left palm down and around, lifting the heel up this time. Arms are up in worshiper. Now stay with your knee bent and just bring that back foot forward, meeting the right. So forward and back. I'm gonna do this five times. Forward and back, four and back and five and back and now hold. Seated with Christ. Inhale, sweeping all the way up for worshiper, dropping the palms all the way down. Nice work. All right, shake it out. Hopefully you're, you got your, your heart pumping a little bit there. All right, inhale, sweeping up. Exhale, folding forward into satisfied, all the way over your toes. Inhale, hands on shins, flat back position. Dropping down, we're satisfied. Placing palms on the mat, stepping or hopping back. Holding empowered on the knees or up, your choice. Slowly lower, elbows brush the sides. Inhaling into loved. And then sitting back into our humble position. All right, we're gonna move on to the left side. Left foot comes all the way up. Bringing the knee to the nose or the knee underneath the chest. Bringing it back up. And four. And three. And four. And four. And four. Last one. And hold. Holding here. Good job. If you need to rest, go ahead and drop the knee down. Bringing it all the way through. Dropping the heel right away for victorious one. Pumps come up. Reaching back and straightening out those legs, opening up the hips, coming into our victorious two. Arms are parallel, reaching forward and back. Two forward and back. Three forward and back. Four forward and back. Five and back and hold. Bending the elbow. Right arm goes up. Coming back up. Sweeping the right palm down. Lifting the heel up. Knee is still bent. And here we go. Into our seat of Christ. Back foot comes forward. And back. And two. And back. And three. And back. Four. And back. Five. Bring it back and then bring it forward and hold. Sweeping up, nice work. All right, shaking that out. Great job. Hopefully you're feeling good. We're gonna stretch the neck out here. So drop your right ear to your right shoulder. We're bringing our left side apart. So just pull that shoulder down. Dropping your chin to your chest. And left ear to left shoulder. Really pull the right shoulder down this time in the opposite direction. Coming up straight, let's gaze out over our left shoulder, looking behind us, and coming out over our right, looking behind us. All right, shaking it out. Nice work. Okay, we got the blood flowing, we've stretched, We've done some toning. 
We're gonna move on and work on a little bit of core strength, and then we will wind down. Inhale, sweeping all the way up. Exhale, folding forward, satisfied. Inhale, hands on shins, flat back. Exhale, fold, placing the palms on the mat, stepping or hopping into empower. Adding on a little bit here, so let's take our right knee. This is for advanced. Right knee comes to the right elbow and back. Left knee, left elbow and back. Right knee, right elbow, back. Left knee, left elbow. And right and left. Last time and left. All right, slowly lower, elbows brush the sides. Coming up into loved and then sitting back into his child. In his child, focusing again on Hebrews 1, 9, the love of righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore God, even my God, hath anointed me with the oil of gladness. If you would like to, grab your oil of joy again. Drop a couple drops on your palms while you're in this position. Rub your palms together. Breathe deeply over your cupped hands. <sighs> Place it on your fingertips. Rub your fingertips over your earlobes. I have my headset on, so it's kind of hard. Place it on your chest and in your hair. All right, coming forward. Let's sit all the way back on our bums. So we are going to work a little bit on that core strength and then we will wind down. So slowly coming down to the mat, one vertebrae at a time and holding, coming down a little further and holding and a little further and holding and hugging those knees into the chest, rocking side to side. I'm just gonna turn a little bit for these. So we're gonna place our fingertips behind our head, lifting our feet up to the sky. And you can either hold them here, if you wish, slowly lower, lifting the head and chest, and then bring them back in whenever you feel that lower back start to rise off of the mat. A modification is to place your fingers or your palms below your bottom. We don't want the lower back to rise up on the mat. Kind of keep it down. So place your palms below your bottom, then slowly rise, bring the legs back up, and then slowly bring them back down. Now you might be able to lower a little bit further without that back rising up. If you can go down without the lower back coming up, Go ahead and do so. Slowly and carefully down and up. Now if the lower back rises when you get to here, just bring them in and then start over. Come back straight up. So whatever works for you, you want to keep that lower back on the mat. Exhale as you lift those legs back up. Let's drop those feet down. Now we're going to take our palms and touch our heels. And then wherever we can touch our heels by our sides, we're slowly going to walk those feet out a little bit more. Lifting our head and chest, we're just going to rock back and forth, touching each heel side to side, back and forth. And reaching up, reach up, reach up, reach up, and releasing down. Nice work. You guys are doing great. All right, let's hug those knees into the chest, rocking side to side. Lifting those legs up to the sky. We're just going to hold the right leg in, release the left leg long to the mat, pull the calf in. We're flexing that toe. And then go ahead and point 
and flex, point and flex. Pull it back in a little bit further if you can, and then slowly let the leg fall over the left leg. So the right leg's falling over the left. I'm gonna keep the right shoulder on the mat. Gaze out over our right fingertips as well. So kind of making an S. And coming back up, let's catch our right ankle on our left knee and reach in between our legs and we'll pull the left knee in and just roll out those ankles and take care of them along those ankles as well. And pull it a little closer and then release. Let's pull the left knee in, the right leg goes long to the mat and lifting it straight up, pulling in that calf. Nice work. Flexing and point. Flex and point. Slowly dropping the left leg over the right. And left shoulder stays on the mat, gazing out over the left fingertips. and rub it up and down your spine. Valor is called chiropractor in the bottle for a reason. It is very low in frequency, so it helps to relax those muscles and keep that spine all, all the vertebrae right where they should be. So coming back up, let's catch the left ankle on the right knee, pulling in that right knee, and go ahead and roll those ankles out again if you wish. Pull in a little bit closer. Now from here, keep your knees up, wrap your middle finger around your big toes, and just go ahead and rock side to side as you grab on your big toes. Really massage that spine out. Let's place the soles of our feet together and slowly lower those feet down to the mat. Legs are open wide to the sides. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. If you still have oil on your hands, go ahead and cup. And exhale. Slowly drop those legs down. Inhale, reach the palms up overhead. And exhale, releasing all the way down. Just take a nice, long rest here. Wherever you are, just go ahead and rest, relax. Thou has loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore, God, even thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness. May he fill your heart with gladness so you can live serving him in joy, peace, and happiness, no matter what trials may come. Rolling over onto one of your sides, using your arm as your pillow, and hugging those knees in. If you want to stay where you are, go ahead and just start and then slowly rising up and finding yourself in seated position once again. Inhale, let's sweep those palms up overhead for worshiper. Twinkling those fingers, gazing at the palms and dropping them back down. Let's bring one palm up to the side for a little lateral flexion. 
and releasing it back down and to the opposite side. 